Hello and welcome. My name is Seshu and I'm part of Divicom support and training team. In this video, I'm going to show it to you how to configure app control policy in Sang for Firewall. Before we jump into the configuration, let's go and see what is my laptop policy and what we have done it in previous videos. So in my previous video, I have shown to you like how to configure the DHCP, how to configure the NAT, and how to connect your firewall directly to the management port and how to create the zones. So, so far we have done so many configurations, but still I am not able to get the internet. You guys can see here in my previous video, I have started the 4.2.2.2. Still, I am not able to get the internet. Why? Because as I told you guys, there is a policy is very, very important. So we have configured the NAT. Then after that, we didn't configure the policy. So make sure that, especially in the Sang for Firewall, when you configure the policy, then only the traffic is going to forwarding from your internal to internet. That's what we are going to do now. So let's go and access my firewall. Open the browser and access the username as admin and password. Click on login. So once you jump in at first time, you need to go to the policies and you guys can see here already I have configured the NAT. That is the reason you can see here the heat count. This is very important guys. This is the heat count. Okay. And you can see here this is the heat count. And now what I'm trying to do now, the traffic is hitting your firewall, but unfortunately it's not sending to the internet because of policy. So for that, what you have to do, you need to go to the access control and click on application control. And by default, you guys can see here, there is a default policy. So this default policy, policy by default, it's going to deny all your traffic. Any source, zone can be any, source address can be all, and destination can be any by default. So this is like a implicit deny, guys. For example, if you see in the access control list, if you are familiar with some technologies like Cisco and all, by default, whatever access lists are going to execute one, two, three, four, right? Right? At the end, there is a implicit deny. So by default, it's going to drop all your traffic. This is what exactly is happening. So now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to configure a policy here. So just click on add. So after click on add, you can see here the name. So I'm going to say lab to internet then I'm going to say policy, app policy, okay? So I'm going to say app policy so that you guys can get, you know, if you give a proper descriptive name, it's easy for you to understand. Then after that, do you want to enable or you want to disable? I want to enable this policy. Then after that, what's the description? To access internet from local subnet then after that what's the part of your policy group so if you want you can create different different groups guys but right now i'm not focusing on the group so that i just want to part of default policy group then after that what is the position the position i want to keep it on top of your default policy so this is your default policy on top of that i want to create a policy so that's why i select as a above and it's a default policy then after that, do you want to configure any tags? No, I don't want to create any tags at the moment. Then what's your source zone? The source zone is nothing but that's your LAN. So select the LAN zone. And what's your network objects? So I'm going to select the network objects, which is my LAN subnet 192.168.100.0. Then after that, go to the destination zone. So what's your destination zone? So the destination zone is WAN. Then after that, what's your network object? Network updates, they can access to any other IP address, Facebook, Gmail, anything. So that's why I can select as the all. Then click on OK. Then what type of service? Service is all. And what type of applications? Guys, service are nothing but it could be a TCP or UDP and you can specify which protocol. You can still, you can specify on that. But we are going to work more on the services and applications in my next upcoming videos. But here I am not going to do anything. Simply what I did guys, 
I just selected the LAN zone and I selected my LAN subnet. Then after that I selected the destination as my WAN zone and I selected all and any service and all applications. That's it. And also you can see here in the down you want to allow or you want to deny. I just want to allow then click on save. Now you guys can see here the traffic is going to start or not. Let's go and check it. Now you guys see immediately the traffic has started guys. Okay. Now what I'm trying to do now, I just want to refresh this and you can see the heat count. It start increasing. And also one more interesting thing is that if you want to see the NAT tables and all what's going to happen exactly behind the scenes in Sank4, it's very easy and straightforward guys. Just go to the monitor and click on the sessions and click on the session list. Now you guys can see here what a beauty of information that you are going to see. So it's saying that the traffic which is coming from your LAN and through this IP address and this is the source port and it's going to the LAN 100.1. So in case if you want to see each and every sessions how it's going to translating and all you can able to see it guys that's the beauty of it and which policy is allowing you can see here there is a policy match policy LAN to internet access policy so this is saying that it's allowed okay so in case if you want to filter something this is i really like it guys so for example i just want to see only icmp traffic for example so what you guys can see here the protocol i can select icmp then click on save now you guys can see here icmp traffic which is going from lan to van and through which ip address the source ip is 192.168.100.1 which is my pc i'm trying to i am trying to reach the 4.2.2.2 which is icmp and it's allowed you guys can see here this is what it's trying to yeah so that's the beauty of this sang for firewall guys you can able to see the complete information and one more thing is that i just want to show it to you this policy also in case if you want to see the session table from here you can just click on more and click on view sessions i really love this one guys thanks to sang for a lot you guys can see here complete information so LAN to internet you can see this is the policy and it's yellow 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 everything is allowed guys i didn't apply any restrictions and you guys can see here exactly what type of traffic and behind the scenes there is some other services also running in my system but i am not sure which services are running so even you can see those ip addresses also really really beautiful guys why because as a network admin you can able to see the complete information and also once you click on this and you can see the session id and this is the flow which is sending the traffic and this is the flow which is receiving the traffic and you can see flow 0 and flow 1 one is sent other one is received so that's why it's trying to show you the source ip is this destination ip is this while the return traffic is coming this is the source and this is the destination so that for administrator especially they can able to see each and every packet like what is the session id what is the source ip what is the destination ip they can able to see the complete information guys so now what i'm trying to do now let's open another window and trying to say www.google.com see how quick is that and let's say that I want to go for www.facebook.com I can see that the Facebook is getting open I want to open youtube.com www.youtube.com and I want to access the e-link website just you can go here www.elink.com you guys can see here how quick and the firewall is able allowed to access the internet okay and you can guys can see here now if you want to go and check on this view sessions and you will find all the information guys see see youtube traffic microsoft traffic okay all this information even if you want you can go deep dive what is happening exactly all this information you can able to see it from here that's why i really like this sang for firewall guys you can have a complete visibility in your network what's happening which websites the people are trying to access and all you can able to get the complete information about it and this is the beauty of that so if you want you can as i told you that you just configure the nat then after that come to the access control then you can see there is application control policy and once you configure this then it's going to allow your traffic from your lan to WAN. so this is what how the policies are going to create in sang for firewall 
so to log out just click on the logout and just minimize my window so as i told you guys in dubai the jitex is going to happen in uh, october 14 to 18 so during the jitex period i am going to explore more on the sangfor products like sangfor is mainly focusing on security and hca products so if you guys really want to explore more about sangfor you please visit our booth in jitex and uh, for the sales related enquiries please send us an email sales at datawise.com for support please send us an email support at datawise.com i hope this has been informative and i would like to thank you for viewing